Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. No, that was cheesy. Are you ready for day six? We are, and hopefully today's the day. Hopefully. Yesterday, <clears throat> we rode horses from, I think we did like, I don't know, seven, eight miles on horses. Watch this, that's not bad, that's not bad. But we we're going up mountains and cliffs and it was insane. My GoPro fell off yesterday and after it fell off, I took it off and we went through the thickest stuff that we did all day. So yesterday's video doesn't do it justice to what it really was. It was crazy. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna go back to Two Dot where Steve shot at the muley and missed it. Um, we're gonna get around that area, work it a little bit, see if he's still in there anywhere. All right, coming up the road where we saw the mule deer at. Maybe the buck went back down and laid down in his bed. Um, spook him out again for you, Steve. If them does are back on the right, you know he's gotta be back in there again. down and across through this stuff there's uh there's a doe there's a doe up in front of us oh, to the right shit. yep so the doors are back that means that buck is here he is here we just gotta find him he crossed right down through here yeah steve right down through here so if you wanna if you could set up right in here i don't know we might even pull over the hill and he might be standing there's another whole bunch right there oh my not yet. See, they're the distraction. They're like, we're gonna dis distract them. Yeah, he'd be laying down off that point. No, he got it. Nothing. Just those three. I was trying to move them around to see if something else popped up. Did you? They saw you come down and were watching you the whole time, then probably. Oh, yeah. So that's why they didn't cross right here, of course. But I went back down the same ridge where I was at. No, I come up the same thing, exact tracks before, and nothing. I, they had to be down in there. They gotta be down in there. Because once it, once these pines and stuff get on the other side of them pines, it clears up and that's where they went down and into two nights ago. Let's go well, there's a good chance we'll be able to see some more around. Let's go see what Donnie says. Wow. 
turn it sideways. There you go. Oh, there's Kyle. Yeah, I see you, Kyle. He said, get back in there, there's deer. Which way was it going? Huh? All right. Six, five or six, there's one right by me. I see them. All bulls. Huh? Yeah, I was. I can't stand up here. And I looked up and there's a doll looking at me. And you guys are already coming out of the woods. I'm like, no, keep pushing. Because we were up real high, but we didn't know how steep it was going to be down here, so we yeah. started working out. At one point, we were way up there. Yeah, because I got down quite a bit before you did. And uh, and then they, so they went down between me and you and actually come down and then back this way? Yeah, they climbed the ridge, mm -hmm. and then they just stayed on top of the ridge. He's got them on film, probably. Yeah, I got them. And then going across, and then they went back down behind us. So they didn't come across the road at all that long. Oh, oh, come and get a picture of this huge bear trap. See the paws and the paws, claws. Oh yeah. There's a big one. Look how far the claws are apart. That's a big bear. Bigger than my hand. Put your hand down there. <laughs> so, this is basically like the end of the Montana elk hunting box. <clears throat> it was kind of a, a failure out there. Um, I'm not gonna say we failed. It was a blast. It was really awesome. Um, <clears throat> one guy did get a white-tailed doe, which you can shoot out there, so um, that your deer tag covers that. Um, couldn't shoot mule deer does out there, but we were on the hunt for the elk, the white-tailed buck, or mule buck. Um, tags cover that. So, it, like I said, it was a blast. It was really fun. Um, I guess my favorite day was riding horses in the mountains. I mean. It, it didn't look like much, but once we got up there halfway to where we were at, it was just, it was insane. I mean, it was straight down. And once we got up to that Mule Creek Park, the view was amazing. And I turned around and it's like, wow, we still got a long way to go. Um, <clears throat> so it was, it was fun. Um, on the way back, we pounded it out, got back in like 20 hours, drove overnight. Um, back in Wisconsin, gonna be doing some hunting here with this next weekend, white tail bucks chasing the does, the rut is like in full swing, 
in like two days, three days, it's gonna be just crazy. So I'm gonna try to get some video of that. That should be awesome. And we're gonna go back to fishing. Uh, I'm gonna try to do maybe like a fall crappie walleye video. Stay tuned for that. And again, we're gonna do a 500 subscriber giveaway video. I don't know what I'm gonna give away. Um, comment, what should I give away? Make it reasonable for 500. Um, and then after that, I might do an every 100 subscriber giveaway um, and give away something big at a thousand. I mean, I want to give away something big like a camera or you know some some gear so somebody else could get started with doing a YouTube channel or fishing something like that. <clears throat> well, with that being said, this pretty much wraps up the uh, Montana elk hunting series. Um, like I said again, it was a blast. So thanks again for everybody that watched. I really appreciate the views. Of course, we want views. Views are good. Um, <clears throat> again. Thanks again and stay tuned for what's next.